An electric potential, also called the electric field potential, potential drop or the electrostatic potential is the amount of work needed to move a unit of positive charge from a reference point to a specific point inside the field without producing an acceleration. Typically, the reference point is the Earth or a point at infinity, although any point beyond the influence of the electric field charge can be used. In classical electrostatics, electric potential is a scalar quantity denoted by V or occasionally phi, equal to the electric potential energy of any charged particle at any location measured in joules divided by the charge of that particle measured in coulombs. By dividing out the charge on the particle a quotient is obtained that is a property of the electric field itself. This value can be calculated in either a static time invariant or a dynamic varying with time electric field at a specific time in units of joules per coulomb jc-1 or volts v The electric potential at infinity is assumed to be zero In electrodynamics when time varying fields are present the electric field cannot be expressed only in terms of a scalar potential Instead, the electric field can be expressed in terms of both the scalar electric potential and the magnetic vector potential. The electric potential and the magnetic vector potential together form a four vector, so that the two kinds of potential are mixed under Lorentz transformations. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Introduction. Classical mechanics explores concepts such as force, energy, potential etc. Force and potential energy are directly related. A net force acting on any object will cause it to accelerate. As an object moves in the direction in which the force accelerates it, its potential energy decreases. For example, the gravitational potential energy of a cannonball at the top of a hill is greater than at the base of the hill. As it rolls downhill its potential energy decreases, being translated to motion, kinetic energy. It is possible to define the potential of certain force fields so that the potential energy of an object in that field depends only on the position of the object with respect to the field. Two such force fields are the gravitational field and an electric field in the absence of time varying magnetic fields. Such fields must affect objects due to the intrinsic properties of the object e.g., mass or charge and the position of the object. Objects may possess a property known as electric charge and an electric field exerts a force on charged objects. If the charged object has a positive charge the force will be in the direction of the electric field vector at that point while if the charge is negative the force will be in the opposite direction. The magnitude of the force is given by the quantity of the charge multiplied by the magnitude of the electric field vector. Electrostatics The electric potential at a point R in a static electric field E is given by the line integral where C is an arbitrary path connecting the point with zero potential to R. When the curl times E is zero, the line integral above does not depend on the specific path C chosen but only on its endpoints. In this case, the electric field is conservative and determined by the gradient of the potential. Then, by Gauss's law, the potential satisfies Poisson's equation E equals minus V E equals minus 2 v e equals rho epsilon 0 display style math bf nabla c dot math bf e equals math bf nabla c dot left math bf nabla v underscore math bf e right equals nabla caret 2 v underscore math bf e equals rho var epsilon underscore 0 where rho is the total charge density including bound charge and denotes the divergence. The concept of electric potential is closely linked with potential energy. A test charge Q has an electric potential energy Ue given by U E equals Q V Display style U underscore Math BF E equals Q V 
the potential energy and hence also the electric potential is only defined up to an additive constant, one must arbitrarily choose a position where the potential energy and the electric potential are zero. These equations cannot be used if the curl times E does not equal zero, i.e., in the case of a non-conservative electric field caused by a changing magnetic field, see Maxwell's equations. The generalization of electric potential to this case is described below. Topic: Electric potential due to a point charge. The electric potential arising from a point charge Q at a distance r from the charge is observed to be V e equals one four pi epsilon zero Q r Display style v underscore math bf e equals frac one four pi var epsilon underscore zero frac q r, where epsilon zero is the permittivity of vacuum. V e display style v underscore math bf e is known as the Coulomb potential. The electric potential for a system of point charges is equal to the sum of the point charges' individual potentials. This fact simplifies calculations significantly, because addition of potential scalar fields is much easier than addition of the electric vector fields. The equation given above for the electric potential and all the equations used here are in the forms required by SI units. In some other less common systems of units, such as CGS Gaussian, many of these equations would be altered. Topic: <laughs> Generalization to electrodynamics. When time-varying magnetic fields are present, which is true whenever there are time-varying electric fields and vice versa, it is not possible to describe the electric field simply in terms of a scalar potential V because the electric field is no longer conservative. C E D display style text style int underscore C math BF E C D O T mathrm D bold symbol L is path dependent because times e does not equal zero. Display style math bf nabla times math bf e n e q math bf zero. Faraday's law of induction. Instead, one can still define a scalar potential by also including the magnetic vector potential a in particular. A is defined to satisfy b equals times a display style math bf b equals math bf nabla times math bf o where b is the magnetic field because the divergence of the magnetic field is always zero due to the absence of magnetic monopoles such an a can always be found given this the quantity f equals e plus T display style math BF F equals math BF e plus frac partial math BF a partial T is a conservative field by Faraday's law and one can therefore write e equals minus V minus a T Display style math bf e equals math bf nabla v frac partial math bf a partial t, where v is the scalar potential defined by the conservative field f. The electrostatic potential is simply the special case of this definition, where a is time invariant. On the other hand, for time varying fields, minus a b e d does not equal v b minus v a display style int underscore a caret b math bf e c d o t mathrm d bold symbol l n e q v underscore b v underscore a unlike electrostatics
Topic: Units. The SI-derived unit of electric potential is the volt in honor of Alessandro Volta, which is why a difference in electric potential between two points is known as voltage. Older units are rarely used today. Variants of the centimeter-gram-second system of units included a number of different units for electric potential, including the abvolt and the statvolt. Galvani potential versus electrochemical potential Inside metals and other solids and liquids, the energy of an electron is affected not only by the electric potential, but also by the specific atomic environment that it is in. When a voltmeter is connected between two different types of metal, it measures not the electric potential difference, but instead the potential difference corrected for the different atomic environments. The quantity measured by a voltmeter is called electrochemical potential or Fermi level, while the pure unadjusted electric potential V is sometimes called Galvani potential. Phi Display style Phi The terms voltage and electric potential are a bit ambiguous in that, in practice, they can refer to either of these in different contexts. See also Absolute electrode potential Electrochemical potential Electrode potential